folks and welcome to this video which is a crafting video and it's another flocking video flocking with latex if i sound a bit off it's because i'm getting over a really nasty bug so today i'm hoping and i say hoping because you never quite know how it's going to turn out as we found with flocking i'm hoping to flock these two latex ears. So in my first video on flocking latex we had some okay results, not brilliant. We've made some improvements since then and I've got some pieces to show you that I am really really pleased with and I'm quite excited about the sort of result that I found you can get. Well first of all I'll just quickly go over how you can make pieces like this out of latex. So I used two parts silicon putty to make my moulds. At first I was using easy mould but now I use a much cheaper brand and I'll show you that in a bit. So what you do with two parts silicon putty is you weigh out equal parts and then you mix it together until it's swirl free. So the two colours have blended completely. And then you press it on to the item that you want to take the mould of. And you've got to do that very quickly because it starts setting in just a few minutes. And then you leave it for a further 20 minutes and then it comes off just like that and you've got your mould. So this is the two part silicon putty that I use now. It's by Res Chimica. I think it's Italian. But I buy that in kilo kilograms, so one kilogram. So you've got 500 grams of A and 500 grams of B. As you see there, you've got five minutes working time which goes very quickly and then you've got 20 minutes setting time so this stuff is less than half the price of casting craft does the same thing the only thing i would say different about it is the casting craft is much more flexible this is quite hard so it casting craft does make it easier to take your mold out because it's so flexible uh, this cheaper make, it, it is firmer, so it will be more difficult to get the mould out if you've got a mould that's sort of quite deep, as I found when I'm trying to do feet. But for me, I find it's not worth paying the extra. And once you've got your mould, you're ready to apply the latex. So the brand of latex I got was Trust Leaf don't know if there's any difference between different latex. I think it's a pretty basic product and it's nice and cheap. So when I first started applying latex to my moulds, I was leaving them to dry naturally. But I found that that takes ages and you can speed up the process by putting your moulds on a radiator and that really speeds it up so that's what I do now and with the first moulds I used the latex straight out of the bottle and if you just put latex in this is what it looks like when it comes out and then I painted it after so this is the ear that I showed you in my first video on flocking latex and this is what it was like after it had been painted and you can see it looks like paint and it's a bit shiny. So what I decided to do after that was to add the paint with the latex uh, as I made the latex part. So this is some latex mixed with paint. I've nearly used all of this tub that I made, so I'll mix some more up now and show you how I do that. 
The good thing about latex is because it's water-based, you can use any acrylic paint. So you can use quite cheap acrylic, acrylic paint and it works fine. So I add some white first. And a small amount of red. Mix it up. So that's too dark at the moment. So I'll be putting some more white in. Add some latex. So I really had put too much red in this mixture when I mixed it up. So I had to add a lot more white paint. And you can just keep adding paint so you get the colour that you want. And if you think it's got a bit too much paint in, in a, as a ratio to latex, you can always just thin it down again when you come to use it. So this is what it looked like when it was all mixed up. And then you just apply it to your mould as you would applying latex out of the bottle. Start off with a very thin layer, using the latex very thinly so that you can get all the detail from your mould. And in between layers, as I say, I found it was best to put it on the radiator because that really speeds up the process. And you can further speed up the process by using a thickener. So to use this thickening agent, first of all, you need to measure 200 millilitres. So we measured 200 millimetres of water in this jar, we'll put a line there, and then you fill up to that mark with your latex rubber. And then you add a teaspoon of the latex thickener. So you then mix for one minute. You should be able to see it thickening up. So it's just going thicker now. Then you put your top back on your jar and you leave it to stand for two minutes before you use it. So after it's stood for at least two minutes, you stir it again and then you can use it. And you can see it goes on a lot thicker with the thickening agent in it and once you've got your latex as thick as you want it and it's all set then you can remove it from the mold and you can see with this piece that when you add the paint with the latex as you build it up that it's a much better result So you can see it looks a lot more like skin than when you add paint afterwards. So once you've got your finished latex piece, the next thing you want to do is flock it. And when I flock this piece, when I put the glue on to flock it with the short one millimeter flock first, I just put the glue on the back of the ear and around the edge at the front. But when I came to use the 4mm flock, I found that you could see the latex, that the 4mm flock wasn't dense enough to stop the latex showing through. It looked better where it had been put over the 1mm flock. So what I'm going to do with the ears that I'm going to flock today is, I'm going to cover all the area 
that I want flocking. So I'm going to cover the whole thing with one millimetre flock, leaving some of the inside of the ear, of course, so that when I use the four millimetre flock, you shouldn't be able to see the latex. It should look nice and dense with the one millimetre underneath. So I used a fine artist brush for doing the edge of the ear, where the edge of the glue is going to be. And then after that, I did the rest with a larger brush until I covered the whole area that I wanted covering with flock. And then I flocked it using the one millimeter cream flock and for flocking this we use the Wimshurst machine. So we left the ears overnight for the glue to dry completely before we touched them and now that the glue is most definitely set I can brush off the excess flock. And that's what it looks like now that the excess flock has been brushed off. So you can see the bit that is not being covered with flock there. That's to look like the skin of the inside of the ear. And it's covered really, really well. And there's the other ear. Now that I've brushed the excess flock off. So now we can put the long fibre on. So I'll be putting glue over this part of the ear, just leaving this outside bit without any flock on. And be leaving the back of the ear without any long flock on. And covering all this bit where the fur is longer. And here's the result. I can't actually touch the ears yet because I've got to wait till, till tomorrow when the glue is set. But yes, I think they look amazing. And when I put the first attempt next to it, you can see it's so much better. And these are the two pieces that I did the other day that I mentioned early on in the video. So we've got the cat's face there. And a muzzle here. So that's all I've got time for in this video, folks. I hope that's helpful for people who want to use latex. For their models and who want to flock latex. Thanks for watching as always and see you next time.